Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Bravo, and this is the Show Light TV. And today we have a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey y'all, it's Secret Destiny. Shout out to Show Life TV. Yes, 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 yes. So thank you for being on the show. Of course. Um, bringing you back. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do it over again. Guess who's back? Yeah, dig. Um, so first of all, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm happy to see you guys. Um, we just got done doing the interview with Lolo. Shout out to Lolo. Shout out to Lolo. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just excited for you guys to be here. Um, so let's let's start off. How's how how has life been going since the last time we talked? Life's been going good. Money's been great. Shout out to my clientele. Um, I just got a green mirror for my little business, and my favorite color is green. So you know, I was high when I found that. Oh, dope. Right. dope, 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 dope. So how has the business been going? It's been going good. I've been I've been kind of booked. First of the first two weeks of the month is kind of like back to back to back to back to back. But you know I don't see any flaws in it. Not quite yet. After four years, still no flaws. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So um, Utah. We are in the beautiful state of Utah. Yes. Um, how do you how how do you how do you like the experience out here? How do you feel about the experience here? I hate the snow. I hate being cold. Hmm. I just want the summer to come. Hmm. Yeah, but it never—it doesn't look like it's gonna come. No it time. comes. <laughs> it it comes too late, and then it's too hot by the time it's supposed to be cold. Right. So, you know. Yeah, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Man, it's crazy. So, um, family, family woman, are you? Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes, which is a beautiful thing. Um, your child. How do you how how do you cope with you know being a mother at this time you know. Um, I love being a mommy. Um, I hate that his birthday is two months away and he's almost two, but you know, he a big. And I'm a short mommy, mm -hmm. so he already to my, to my hip, and right. I'm just like, how do I deal with you when you're probably five and taller than me? I don't know. That's just the things I've been thinking about lately. Other than that, I'm a very good baby, very blessed. Hmm. Hmm. You know. How do you deal with the uh, how do you deal with the snacks and the food and the McDonald's and it, are you are you at that level yet with him? Um, kind of. Uh, my baby doesn't really eat candy. I barely introduce fruit snacks, mm -hmm. and he eats them too fast and goes too crazy. So, I'm like, when he does have snacks, I don't know. I try to keep it healthy. Yeah. Um, McDonald's. I don't know. He's a chicken nugget baby, but I wouldn't say we have McDonald's too too much. Right. Yeah, I cook a lot, so I'm like, my girl, she likes $700 a month, so. Girl, I understand, I understand. Yeah. So, you, you being like, a, you know, a parent nowadays, how do you, how do you feel like looking at your child and knowing that that's like you? Oh my God, I was just telling my baby that mm -hmm. all last night, I was like, it is so weird, because my baby's my twin, like, mm -hmm. my baby daddy, like, he looks like his baby, his baby daddy, he mm -hmm. looks like his dad a lot mm -hmm. when his afro's out, mm -hmm. but I'm like, he's very much my twin. I be looking at him like, dang. Do you know I made you from nothing? Like, from nothing. You was just in my belly right. the other day. <laughs> like, why is he out here walking and talking and talking about, I did it. I did it. Like, boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, it's uh, so amazing. It is yeah. so amazing. Um, so, with, with you, what? how do you get time, when, when you have time to kind of just rest and just be yourself, what do you do? I don't rest. I'm always up. I won't say I get like four hours of sleep, but you know, I'm always me too. I feel like when I do get time to myself that every other weekend, God bless my mama, she take him. It's like, I'm still being a 20 year old. Like I'm still 20. Like I'm just a girl, you yeah. know, I'll be out about, so. Yeah, no, that's dope, that's dope. So what are some things that you like to get into, you know, just on your Um, I don't know. I don't like to do much. You know, I keep it light, keep it slight. It's a secret, really. Uh -huh. um, you know, I just be doing my thing on social media. If you go to my little Instagram, you can see right there what I really do. Well, yeah. There's nothing to do. But Well, we just seen you get into something. You just did, like, a photo shoot. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. What was that about? There's... So, Sidney Turner on Instagram, he sells sunglasses, and they're so cute, he can turn them into prescription glasses. Okay. You will see me with those within two months. I usually wear glasses, but I stepped on them, so we're not going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've been doing photo shoots at Utah Creative Chamber, and mm -hmm. it's been cool. I love that place. That is pretty dope. That is pretty dope. Is it anybody like there that, if someone wanted to kind of get into that, would want to talk to? Um, CJ. CJ. Um, he has his own Instagram. But yeah, CJ and 
Um, I think SLC Diva, she does events there a lot. So if you run into her Instagram, I'm pretty sure you can ask her too. Definitely, definitely. You guys make sure that you go ahead and check that out. Um, so, more about you. Let's dig into your life a little bit more. If someone walked up to you and asked you, who are you? Could you answer that question? Um, I would say I'm Secret Destiny. Uh -uh. Have you not met me? Uh -uh. <laughs> I mean, behind the character that you have built for yourself. The real you. Um, I guess I, I, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. No. I mean, it's like, I know who I am, but I couldn't really tell it. I can more show it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you would have to know me. And I'm talking about know me for a very long time to figure out. To figure it out. These walls. Right. These walls. Because I understand, because someone broke, broke it down to me, like, you know, you do have walls. Yeah. And, you know, it's hard to kind of, to answer that question, like who you are really behind yeah. everything. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, there's a couple of walls. Yeah, Even I'm still breaking, you know, right. Right. to figure that out. So. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, that's something I like to think about. You know. Um. I always said that something. I am. I'm like a. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a businessman. But at the same time, I have a lot of fears that I need to work on. You know, because I I I fear failure. You know. I feel like everyone fears failure. Yeah. But. I don't know. I feel like failures, what you do and how you failed still isn't who you are. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm like your past and future still isn't going to be who you are because you're never who you're going to be. True. Ever. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I really don't know. I couldn't tell because I, I knew who I was. I swear I knew who I was a year ago. But right now, if you ask me, definitely don't know. Right. I don't know time, where it's going. Right, you don't know where it's going. <laughs> but you, you, you know, where, you, you kind of, you have the feel of where you want it to go. Yes. You know, so. Definitely. Yeah, no, I completely understand. So, what is the next, if someone wanted to ask the next five years, what would the next five years look like to you? The next five years would look to me, okay, so I will have a salon, and I will have a toddler, or not a toddler. Yeah, when they're five years old, toddler, I will have a toddler in kindergarten so while i'm gonna go have you know a little upgrade a little upgrade a little upgrade that's that that's that yeah i'm yeah. like okay yeah well yeah in five years i'm excited i'm excited when i'm 26 my son's six. Ooh, it's gonna be dope it's gonna be dope i always see my son every, every time i think of something i'm like oh my son how old that in that time let me think about it right so do you do you want to put him in any what do you want to put him in any sport? Oh yeah, his dad did a lot of sports, track, football. So definitely those. Mm -hmm. But my son's a little bit of a nerd. Okay. And he's kind of soft and a mama's boy. He was breastfed for a year, you know. So I'm like, for me, it's like I'm gonna make sure he has an opinion in everything. But I also do want him to try everything. Yes. So. Yeah. Yes, that's true. You know. Um. So. Let's get into some relationships, the relationship questions. Um, I've been very interested in asking about the the, um, re the relationship status out here in Salt Lake City because I see it's a little different out here. Yeah, it's a little different. I feel like it's a little different everywhere, though, because everyone's got a little situation behind a situation. That's very true. That's very true. So how do you feel like it's different out here than, let's say, Los Angeles? From um, your point of view. I've never lived in Los Angeles. Or California. Or oh, California. Okay. I've never dated out there, per se. But out here, I just know that it's way too small. Right. And everybody has dated everybody and everybody has... Everybody and it's just very small. Right. So, you know someone you mess with, mess with someone you know and just, yeah. Now, being a person that is bougie and doesn't deal, kind of deal with that, how how would someone find, you know, how would someone find anybody if it's like that out here? Um, I, don't, I don't really know. Like, for me, for me personally, I feel like I used to go off of love by history, but now it's, like, so much, like, of what people are actually providing into themselves that makes them more attractive. So it's like, it's different now. Like, 
be over. Do you yes. know what I mean? Yes, yes. If you, you look at things more kind of in depth than just surface level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, speaking about love, let's kind of jump on that. How do you feel about love? Do you think Poison. it's watered down nowadays? Do you think it's like... Poison. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Love is complicated. Love... Love is a drug. I don't know. I don't know. Love is love is a iffy topic for me. I don't like to talk about it. No, let's talk. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> love for me, I don't know. I don't know. It's like me myself. I had to love my life pass away. So it's like I don't know if I could touch on it. Like it's not that I can't touch on it, but it's like I feel like if you can't do what at least my baby daddy is doing. It's like, I, I don't know, you know? Like, and it's hard to find that nowadays because right. that type of love was very old school, very based off of history. So yeah. now it's like... It was unique. Yes. Yes. So now it's like, I don't know. Because you're starting over. Right? Yeah, I'm starting over. And it's fresh, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, yeah. So. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Um, love comes with a lot, you yeah. know, especially, like, looking over people's flaws. Mm-hmm. You know, dealing with the situations that people have, you know, so yeah. I can completely understand. Um, so with that being said, what has love taught you anything? Um, love has taught me to be more patient. And it's taught me to realize just because you love somebody doesn't mean you should trust them. Like, you can love somebody with your whole life. But you're, but you shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You shouldn't have done what you done for right. them. You feel me? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, love comes with a lot of battles, and I'm over it. Yeah, <laughs> I completely understand. I'm like, it's too complicated. It does. Like, can you just hit my cash app? <laughs> you have for yourself in the in the future. Um, my main goal that I'm working on is to have my own personal Swift board because I don't drive. Mm-hmm. I don't drive. Refuse to drive. I've crashed three cars, so oh, you crashed three cars. <laughs> yes, <laughs> three. It's really bad. Okay. All right. God dang. So what else? Um. You I'm, said that you wanted ten kids, also. Yeah, I want a lot of kids, but I also want to be married before I think about having any other kids. Cause yeah. I heard the second ones be gremlins after yeah. your first one's an angel. Yeah. Um. I just hope and pray that I'm able to continue to live how I live financially and I hope I'm able to continue to be blessed with my business. Mm-hmm. I just hope everything's up from the future. Yeah. Or to the future. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm like, I wish I could tell the future but I know I'm one of God's favorites. Well, the soldiers right. is how much he put in the future. That's right. That's Shout right. out. Shout out to you. Shout out to It's okay. Talking about that. Let's <laughs> let's Let's, let's get on some weird shit. We got some time. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, do you think... Don't you think they're in the ocean? Like, the ocean's way too deep not to have another life down there. Like, it, there has to be, once you get deep enough, like, another surface of air and niggas are living in it. There has to be. I, and then they're coming up and fucking with us. I really and going back down. I could see that they did find that pyramid underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in the Bermuda Triangle, that they were figuring out why, like the planes and everything kept crashing. It was and going missing. It was a, it's a, it's a pyramid down there. Yeah. That's been pulling them down. That's what I think they're at. I don't think they're in the sky. You think so? Fuck the sky. That UFO looks too much like a submarine. That you ain't lying about that. It looks too much like a submarine. Yeah. It looks too much like a submarine. So you don't think they're coming from the sky? I don't. The space got too much other shit going on in it. I don't think them niggas is coming from the sky. Mm. I don't. Mm. Do you think there's aliens in the space though as well? I think there's too much other shit going on in the universe. I think there's other Earths and shit. You know how they say they found life's fucking a kajillion miles away? Mm-hmm. Like, I think space is working with other shit to be worried about aliens coming mm. to fuck with Earth. Yeah. Do you, because they, you seen that, that planet that, the, the plant, the, another planet like ours, but it's bigger? Yeah. Yeah. That that's livable. You can live on that yes. planet and everything. Yeah, I've been watching.
looking at. I know people live on that ridge. I, I know it's us doing everything backwards like this. I would think Different so too. Different genders like that, you know? I would think so too because it's like if it's livable, there's something on that planet. Mm-hmm. There's got to be some fish, an animal, or something like that. Like, <laughs> something. <Fishing animals>. <laughs> <laughs> the fishes are walking and talking. And we're so, it's something. <laughs> so there's got to be something alive. Okay, so how do you think we were created? Black people or us? Or, like, people? Shit, black people. How do you think we were created? Like, from the start? Yeah, from the start. Because my mama told me we came from the ground. Come on, talk to me. You know, that we grew from the ground. That's why our skin is like that. And she told me white people were scientists. I always said that I feel like we were all science experiments because of how we were so we're so much able to adapt to things. Like I feel like we were just set. everything is a science experiment. But my mom just talked about how black people, well, people of color, period, were just from the soil. Hmm. You know. And what else? What else did my mom talk about? Yeah. I don't know. Nothing much. Like we went to church and stuff like that. But shout out to Calvary. But, um, oh my god, I'm so getting thrown out of church. <laughs> What's your sex drive like? Mine? <laughs> What's your sex drive like? Yeah, this video can be fun. What's your sex drive like? Fuck it. Is it a um, high person or is it a low person? I want to I wanna say it depends if I like you or not. Like, for real. Mm. But I'm also a little shy. It depends who you're talking to. Are you talking to Secret? Or are you talking to one of those? I'm talking to Secret. <laughs> Like me personally, relationship wise, my sex drive is high, but you have to be providing and you have to actually be trying to earn that part of me. You know what I mean? What attracts you to what, what, what attracts you? The way men talk to me. Like you have to be a certain type of respectful and understanding to talk because I don't like a guy who gon' text me what's up, Shawty. At 11, 12, 1 o'clock, mm. thinking that shit's cute. For days, not getting no response. For free. Like, men are just free whores nowadays, so it's like, I don't know. They, that's why I like to meet people in person, because once it's in person and it's that type of cute shit, mm-hmm. like, it's different. Right. But, like, nowadays, that internet shit, um... It's a little different. Talking about the internet shit, <laughs> how do you feel about that, the, the social media nowadays, like, the whole... Have so, I love social media. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Okay. You can catch me on social media 24-7 because, honestly, one thing about me, I'm going to be on my phone. Okay. But, also, social media, you have to, I don't know, I feel like you have to really be funny for it to be enjoyable. Like, if you're a boring-ass bitch, of course you're going to say you don't like social media. Mm-hmm. Like, but I love social media. Like, mm-hmm. especially if you're pretty, like, yeah. Social media is a job to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, right. No, for real. It does. It, it turns into a job, for real. Um, dang. The silence. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we had we had a, we had a great conversation behind camera. We need to make sure uh, to, to to get those videos out. To so start recording. To start recording um, and putting those on my subscription. You guys make sure to sign. And subscribe to my uh, subscription on Instagram. It's two ninety nine a month. Um, well, secret, beautiful secret. Bravo. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, of course. Um, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do a story time with you. Is that okay? We should do it ASAP. We gonna do it now. Okay. <laughs> right, we got you as long as possible. You're going to squeeze the juice. So um, we're going to finish this one. And you guys make sure to check the Spotify story time with Secret Destiny because we're getting it popping, y'all. <laughs> you already know. This is Light TV, and we up out of here. Peace. Peace.